hi friends you are viewing tech blog in this session we'll describe you how to install and configure coding letter framework on windows environment by using xmpp server so in order to do that first of all we require a windows host here we use windows 10 for that require a xmpp server and coding letter framework uh, latest version or whatever stable version you want to use so xmpp server basically uh, lamp server uh, that is <coughs> x for any host a for apache m for mysql p for php and p for pal so you can download xmpp from apache friends dot uh, org uh, if you uh, if you haven't please go to browser and type x a m p p here you can see apache friends dot org XMPP comes all three platforms. Uh, comes for all three platforms. Uh, here we choose Windows version. You can uh, choose uh, Linux and uh, Mac version also. We have already downloaded it from here, so we need not re-download again just minimize it so first of all we have to install xmpp into our windows host allow the program a warning message appears that basically tells you you don't have permission uh, to write program files so you have to install your xmpp server other than program file whenever you want to install click on ok then follow the steps by clicking next button here you can see the list of uh, programs by default uh, checked all are checked you have to next your installation location your installation location by default is c colon xmpp folder xmpp folder are uh, created by default when the installation start and you have to avoid program files so you have already warned uh, you do not use program files so we are using c colon xmpp click on next next we are going to pause this video until installation is completed Here you can allow both public and private networks, but my recommendation is uh, you can only allow private network for your for your environment test environment. So we have all all only checked private networks and then allow access. Finally, finish this installation by finish button. select your language by default is US English and save so in launcher bar you can see XMPP control panel 
click here to launch control panel in this side you can see apache mysql file gila mercury tomcat so to apache and Tom, tomcat is basically web server mysql is database server by using file gila you can transfer file from uh, one host to another host by using ftp sftp like that all services are uh, not start by default you have to start it so i am starting apache first okay apache is started process id is here and port number is there so apache use ports by default 80 ports and 443 after that you can start my my school MySQL also asking for allow your fire firewall blockage so these are the XMPP functionalities now you have to install and configure coordinator framework so First of all, you have to download coordinator framework. Just open a browser and type C O D E I G coordinator. In the first link, coordinator.com. You can see the coordinator latest version is but my recommendation is download the stable version this is the older version and this is the latest lat latest version coordinator 3.1.3 click on download coordinator 3 you can see a zip file is downloading this is very small footprint just 2.5 MBs just extract the zip file now extract is completed and you can see the extracted file the entire folder size is Ten NB. So my download size is two MB and extract file size is ten MB. So basically you have to copy this folder control C and paste it to your XMPP HTTP docs folder. So your XMPP HTTP docs folder under this PC local disk C here you can see xmpp folder here you can see hdocs folder open it and paste the coordinator framework for convenience rename this folder just only coding it 
done after that you have to go control panel I have already started I'll start Apache and go to browser just type the local host slash coordinator your coordinator works well here you can see coordinator welcome message welcome to coordinator for coordinator guide use this guide For basic configuration of coordinator, uh, see our next video and subscribe us for latest update. Thank you. Have a good day.